As a health and human services professional, this video will provide helpful information to increase your knowledge, skills, and confidence in setting goals, managing your personal finances, and improving your financial life. Welcome, I'm Redonna Thompson with Apprizen. We're a nonprofit agency that specializes in helping you with managing your debt. If your debt needs a makeover, you are in the right place. We are about to explore strategies for you to be empowered and take control of your financial situation. We will discuss money personality, signs of debt trouble, the importance of a spending plan, and how to manage your cash flow. Strategies to eliminate debt. This is where it all begins. Your habits, behaviors, and values have shaped your relationship with money. Take a moment and think about how you relate to your money. Are you structured like a rectangle? Are you a circle like a giver? Are you impulsive like that squiggly line? Are you a risk taker like the triangle? Or are you a procrastinator like the square? Understanding your relationship with money will enable you to implement some positive behavior changes. Do any of these sound familiar? Are you running out of cash between paychecks? How about borrowing money to pay off some other debts? Are you using those credit cards to pay off some necessities because you ran out of cash between paychecks? Are you only paying the minimum payment on those credit cards? Do you need a co-signer because you're high risk? Or are you depending on family and friends to bail you out when you're in financial trouble? A spending plan. It's just a simple strategy for spending and saving your money. It helps you set financial goals and control your financial situation. Start tracking your expenses to find all of your spending leaks, whether they're variable, fixed, or periodic. Identify your needs versus your wants. Use that to prioritize your spending. Overall, make cuts and adjust as necessary. Where a spending plan is a strategy for spending your money, cash flow measures the in and out motion of your money. It's more time period specific. The best way that you can implement this is on a paycheck by paycheck basis. It allows you to determine if you have a positive cash flow or a negative cash flow within that time frame, and it allows you to make adjustments accordingly. So if it's positive, that means that you've earned more than you've spent. Great job. Now, if it's negative, that means that you spent more than you actually earn. We got a little work to do. Avoid large periodic payments by making monthly payments. Make sacrifices. Spend only what is necessary. Consider a part-time job. Pay off that debt to free up some of that cash. Locate all of your debt. Make sure you stop charging. And if you do charge, make sure you're paying more than it's required. Consider the debt snowball method, where you pay the smallest balance first. Or the debt avalanche method, where you pay off the debts with the highest interest rates first. Look into a 0% APR card and pay off the transfer balance during the 0% APR period. You can even contact a reputable nonprofit credit counseling agency for assistance. Now, imagine the increase in your life and money satisfaction you could have by taking control of your finances and making over your debt. Think of an action that you can start today and you're gonna make it happen. Thank you for your participation. Check us out on our website and social media.